So in this one, we're going to be doing Gaussian elimination again, but we're going to have three planes that meet at a line, not at a point. And you're going to see what that looks like when we get to the end of this uh, Gaussian elimination. So I'm going to find the line where these three planes intersect. Now, my first step is going to be to put it into an augmented matrix. So now that I've done that, I want to turn this element into a zero. Uh, but while I'm at it, I might also turn this element into a zero because that's my next step. So I'm going to do that in the following way. Now you should be able to see that in both instances, if I add row 1 to row 2, I'm going to get a 0 there. Negative 1 plus 1 will be 0. And I can do the same with row 3. Negative 1 plus 1 will be 0. So I'm going to add row 2. I'm going to add row 1 to row 2. So um, negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. 2 plus 3 is 5. And 2 plus 13 is 15. And negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. 7 plus 3 is 10. And 17 plus 13 is 30. All right, my next step here is to get rid of this a negative 2. But before I do, look at these things. Uh, this is that equation, x plus 2y plus 3z equals 13. And then these are these two equations. Look at equation 2 and 3, though. They're the same. If I multiply this equation all through by 2, I get that equation. Now that's going to have some interesting ramifications when I get rid of that negative 2. And the way I'm going to do that is by taking our row 3 and subtracting 2 times row 2. In other words, taking this equation and subtracting 2 times this equation. Alright, so uh, our 0 minus 0 is going to be 0. Negative 2 minus 2 times negative 1. That's negative 2 minus minus 2, which is 0. 10 times 2, 10 minus 2 times 5, that's 10 minus 10, which is 0. And 30 times, 30 minus 2 times 15 is 30 minus 30, which is 0. Whew, that was hard. Okay, that looks like this, like that. Now, how should we interpret this? Um, well, think about what this means, right? 0 equals 0. Now look at this next line. I could sub a value for z in there, and it would spit out a y value. If I sub in the value 1 there, 5 times 1 equals 15, uh, so y would have to be like um, negative 10. Okay, I could sub in those two values to this one, and would spit in an x value. I could sub in a different z value, which would yield a different y value, which would then yield a different x value. I can sub in any z value, which means that I can use a parameter in place of z. Therefore, we can let z equal our parameter, lambda. Now that we've done that, we can sub lambda into this equation, and then once we've done that, we can sub whatever we get into this equation. So let's sub lambda into that. Now when I do that, I get y equals 5 lambda minus 15. So now I have a y value. Now what I can do is sub lambda for z and 5 lambda minus 15 for y into this top equation and get some x value. And so when I do that, I get this equation, which I can then move everything across and simplify and get x equal to 43 minus 13 lambda. So now I have an equation for z, an equation for y, and an equation for x, all in terms of lambda. So we finish it all off by saying the equation of the intersection line is given by the, these parametric equations. Now you could, if you wanted to, convert this to a vector equation, but I'm going to leave it there as just parametric equations. That's enough for this one. The really important bit is to understand that when you're working through Gaussian elimination, you might end up at a stage where two of your equations look the same or are the same, in which case you're going to end up with a bottom row full of zeros. When you do that, that means that you can let z equal lambda and then work through y and x to get this equation of the intersection line. Pretty cool stuff. Just to be very clear here, you don't really need all of that. That's just me explaining how these equations work. I think it's really useful though that you keep understanding that these matrices are equations. That's how they work. But you really only need to show me this and this, and you've done your job.